Let's see how microbubbles form. At first, large bubbles are created. Then we see a white area which consists of microbubbles. Let's see what happens if the generator is stopped. 30 seconds later, the microbubbles are slowly rising to the surface and we can see clear water forming at the bottom of the tank. A minute later, the microbubbles are still gradually rising toward the surface. One feature of microbubbles is that they rise very slowly. In the space of one minute, microbubbles with a diameter of 0.01 of a millimeter rise only 3 millimeters. The larger bubbles that normally form in water quickly rise to the surface and burst as seen here. Microbubbles move very slowly in comparison. In the reservoir, the microbubbles are carried along with circulating water, carrying air to all parts of the reservoir. This device draws in air and water and uses a vortex to mix them, creating microbubbles. Air that has been mixed using the vortex still comprises large bubbles at the center of the nozzle. As this swirling current emerges into water where there's no flow, the movement of the vortex is abruptly halted. Here, the force of the vortex is converted into a force that can finally break up the air bubbles in the water. As the air bubbles are broken up by this force, they form...